Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 Mighty and Career Mode. Here today for part 13 for the American Grand Prix for what is our fourth sprint race and back to back with Qatar. Now we come in to qualify now, we're going to get through this so we can get on with the sprint. And into the final corner we go now. Very quick round this track, I do like it. And up to the line and we go P2. And we're just over a tenth of pole position. So we're gonna go again. And we have found a lot of time. There's a lot of time in that final corner as we made a little mistake. Out to the final corner, as you see, we've gained three tenths. And we put it on provisional pole position for the sprint. And now we're going even quicker. We've gone purple sector one, purple sector two. Into the final corner now. And up to the line, we cross the line and it's pole position, our second of the season since Monza, let's go to the sprint. Welcome to today's sprint, this is shaping up to be another fantastic weekend. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting sprint. Brown lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who will start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Russell, Hamilton, Perez, Leclerc, Sainz, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Gasly, Ocon, Fittipaldi, Albert, Magnussen, Stroll, Sonoda, Joe, Hulkenberg, Sergeant and Nick De Vries. Which of these drivers will get pole position today? We will soon find out. Okay, we've got that relief of having points on the board finally. So let's keep that form up and get another top 10 finish today, please. So I don't know what Mark is thinking. We got points a long, long time ago this season. But can we win the sprint? Is it possible? Let's find out. There's some very, very fast cars behind us. We were denied an opportunity from pole last in Monza. Here we go then. The five red lights to the American Sprint. And it's lights out and away we go. And we haven't got the best of starts. Lots of wheels spin. Up the inside is Max Verstappen. We go to the outside to take the racing line. Max is at the inside. We leave in space. And Max is still there, but we get the exit. And we keep the lead at the start as we now head into the S section. Max has to back out of it as we go through the S section now. We're in the lead, we've kept the lead, but now there's a very long straight coming up. Max on the outside of us, we defend the inside. Max can't do anything. We stay ahead for now. We're going to have to have some very, very, very wide elbows in this race. And this is Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton of Verstappen going wheel to wheel just behind us round the outside tries to go Hamilton Hamilton can't do it Max keeps him behind so we decided to pull a little gap after that battle and we make a big mistake light up the rear tyres and now Max is right behind us now this is Fernando Alonso he's further down than he would want now heading down the pit straight He's lifted off. It's another issue for Fernando Alonso in a sprint race. He retired from the Qatar sprint and he's retiring from the American sprint. It's game over for Fernando Alonso in the sprint. And now round lap 7, we were actually just keeping the gap. It was just under a second, but Max could never get close enough to actually have a go at us so we were doing all right just pacing ourselves to be fair it worked out a lot better than i thought it was going to be i thought we were going to be defending at every corner but we did enough to keep him behind for now so far three laps to go and there's an issue with the with the gearbox we've gone wide we've spun round we're off the track and for some reason the games took over we only have minor, minor damage, but I can't do anything. We're out of the sprint, and 
the end of the game. It's put me in the middle of the track. And now everyone's going fly around with it. The Alpine and with my toes and Ida and ourselves. The game took over. I could not do anything there. I couldn't use a flashback or anything. The game took over from a minor gearbox issue. This is a replay of what happened. So we went wide, we spun round, and now from about here, the game took over, and I couldn't do anything, and we were out. The game said we had minor gearbox. So did Mark, but it must have been terminal somehow. And then we just sat here. We've taken out the Alpine and Sonoda. This is a replay from Lewis Hamilton's point of view and we nearly wipe out Max as well. This is Ockham's point of view. To be fair, a lot of people avoided him. He could have done a bit more. And now this is Sonoda wiping himself out, hitting us and ourselves. And Hulkenberg also getting involved as he hits the back of us as well. But Max Verstappen wins the sprint and I feel like there's a bit of a curse, this career mode. We put it on pole all the way back in Monza and the engine blew up. We put it on pole here for the sprint and the gearbox goes. So we're going to have to put a new gearbox and you can see the amount of cars we wiped out in that incident as well. So we're going to be starting at the back and take a new gearbox as well. Something I didn't want to do but so it's, we've got a long race ahead of us. So let's go to the race. then in one of the fastest growing cities in the United States, the fabulous Austin in the great state of Texas. The circuit itself, 14 miles southeast of the city center, has been home to the US Grand Prix since 2012, the latest in a long list of iconic tracks to have that on. It's the circuit of the Americas then. Situated 14 miles outside the great city of Austin, this is a 3.6 mile lap with 20 corners, 10 to the left and 10 to the right. Top speeds are around 200 miles per hour. Overtaking opportunities are available in turns one and 12, especially with that rear wing DRS wide open. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Perez, Sainz, Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Bottas, Gasly, Albert, Magnussen, Stroll, Fittipaldi, Joe, Sargent, De Vries, Ocon, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Norris, Brown, and Fernando Alonso rounds off the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. And joining me again for the race today, Natalie Pinkham. Let's talk about Brown. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. So we're here on the grid then and we've got a long race ahead of us. We can only go forward realistically. So we're going to start on the softs go to the mediums and let's just see what we can do we have nothing to lose it's not where i thought we'd be starting when we started the sprint but the five red lights are out and we are racing in america for the second time we've got an unbelievable start we've gone straight around the house we've now gone to the inside and tried to go down the inside of the avatari there just trying to keep our nose clean as we come out of the first corner now round the outside we go of the Alpha Tari. We try and get the job done. Oh so close. We keep the pin though through the section. We are ahead. We're up into P16 now. They're battling ahead. There is three. Nearly three wide. And we're gonna make it four as we send it down the inside of all three of them. We're ahead of our teammate, we're ahead of the Haas, we're ahead of the Williams. We've caught all of them napping. And our teammate. And now we're on the back of Joe. Into turn one. We're going to send it up the inside. We're absolutely flying. As now Joe tries to defend to the outside. But we're going to do it like we did on lap one. Keep it pinned around the outside. And it's job done. We do get the position. Joe fights it a bit harder. 
but we are through. Next up is Oscar Piastri, and we're sending up the inside, and we've nearly hit the back of Lance Stroll. Cat my reactions there, so we did not. Piastri comes back at us as we went off the track, but we stay ahead of Piastri, and we were so close there to hitting the back of Lance Stroll. You can see there, millimetres. I class that as judge to perfection. Lap three now, and Stroll goes very defensive to the inside, but we're going to go further up the inside, down the inside of Lance Stroll, and we're ahead. And in five laps in, we're up into P10. We are flying. Next up, this is Gasly. We're going to send it up the inside and of Albon as well. But we go deep. We're off the track. Now Albon tries to come back at us. We do defend Gasly. But Albon keeps his position. And now going down the back straight. We're going to send it up the inside of Albon. And we are through. And up into P not into p8 in this race and then it wasn't long before we got on the back of Bottas onto lap 8 and we are past the finish driver before we even get to the end of that straight and next up is the big it is this is Magnussen a bit further back onto the back straight spins it round and for two races in a row spins it round and Alonso has seen a chance to take some positions and he has taken it and that spin has also brought out a safety car I don't really know why I think that was a bit premature but it's helped us out in a way because it's allowed us to really get closer to those in front so we are going to box it's only actually a lap earlier than our original stop time because so I was going to pit on lap 12 lap 11 and it's a long way to go on, on mediums but bearing in mind we were going to do this anyway it's not that far so hopefully we can get a good stop here on to the mediums and let's see what we can do on these mediums maybe go forward a bit everyone else though has gone hard so it could be very interesting we should have pace in the opening phase of the stint but towards the end that's where it could be interesting because our mediums are going to go off and those hards are going to start to come back at us but hopefully the race ends before our tyres go off but it's Max Verstappen who will lead us around the final corner to restart this American Grand Prix 16 laps to go and we are racing once more in the background now we are on the back of the Ferrari we're getting closer we're getting closer we're gonna send it to the inside and he turns in does Leclerc but we still get up the inside that could have ended badly but why not this might be on hard tyres but why not go for it up the inside of Perez now we're flying on these mediums, these hard tyres early on don't seem to be the ones to be on as next up this is this is the freeze the freeze is pulling off he's not having the best of days anyway and in not real life he hasn't lost his seat yet as he pulls off and out of the American Grand Prix Now this is George and Sainz going wheel to wheel. George trying to go around the outside. Sainz on the inside. George now has the inside line for the next corner. I could just see this battle. And you bet I was eyeing up that podium. After what has been a very hero to zero weekend for us. And they're still side by side. Is Sainz going to keep it pinned all the way around the outside of the B-Tech Turn 10 at Turkey. Turn here, Turkey, round the outside, George is through, but as we get on towards lap 21, we're still pushing to try and get on the back of Sainz, and we send it up the inside of Carlos Sainz, and from stone dead last, on lap 1, 
we find ourselves on lot 21 inside the top four and now this this is Joe who's slowing down after he was in a fairly decent position it's another mechanical issue and he is out of the Grand Prix and that's three different engines that have popped this weekend but by lap 24 the hard tyres started to kick off and our soft tyres, our medium tyres had started to hit the cliff you see there I lost the back end sighted through it and disappeared and now it wouldn't be long before Perez got up the inside and overtakes us into turn one but you know what it was nice while it lasted and bearing in mind where we started these are much quicker cars yes we did take advantage of our extra grip but here comes Leclerc he's through as well and we've dropped now into P7 in this race after it looked like at one point we could have got a podium but Max Verstappen is going to win the American Grand Prix from Lewis Hamilton George is going to make it a Mercedes 2-3 and we are going to come home for a great P7 after starting right at the back I think that's a decent result and that's the end of the race we'll see you in Park Fermi a truly magnificent drive then and a great performance from the entire team to secure victory here in Austin. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? Quite simply, a driver is nothing without the team behind them. So, a deserved winner, but we do have to give a shout out to the team in the pit lane and back at the factory. Very much a collaborative process. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They have performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. So Max has happened your winner then for both the sprint and the race. P7 from P21. I don't think that's half bad, but I think questions have to be asked of Fitter Powdy now because I started last and finished P7. He started in front of me and I was past him by the end of the first lap and never saw him again. I know he's a rookie, but I think it is getting to that time of the season now where we need to think of next season. They capped out in the championship, 10 points up top. And I remember saying about we should be trying to beat the McLaren of Lando Norris. I don't think that's happening now. He's a long way clear. We're still P6 in the standings. We're a long way ahead of Alpine behind us. I don't think it's possible to really catch McLaren. If we had a little bit quicker, car then maybe but three races to go i don't think we're closing that gap i hope you enjoyed this video and very much mix weekend the glory of pole and leading the sprint to the gearbox going and having to do a comeback drive it's a very much a weekend of two halves there's three races to go this season and we will be in mexico next time out goodbye